greetings everyone my name is raven thomas i'm a ui ux designer at tracken i've been working at tracken from the past 2 years and it has been a wonderful experience being part of this family so in the previous session to quickly summarize we were working with an online cloud platform that is azure devops so we consolidated an idea the idea was to integrate iot devices and using smart watches to get the data from a patient and predict if there is any scenario of the patient being attacked by an heart attack so that being the first phase then we also saw how we are going to capture requirements in an online tool we saw how we are going to define a requirement how the description is going to look like and also the acceptance criteria for it and we also saw how we are going to assign it to one of the team members so that the work can start and proceed so that being the first phase of product development life cycle the second phase would be to design your applications so when i say design so i'm talking about how exactly the application should look like what is the end goal so if you are developing for 6 to 8 months or 1 to 2 years so what is the vision that you are having after 2 years how exactly is the product going to look like and what is the journey and what is the process behind your design thinking so let's have a quick look at that so i welcome you all to the us experience session so what is user experience so user experience is all about the look and the feel of a product and how easy is one product to be used so for example we order multiple products from online the unboxing experience that we get is one of the experience for a user the way that a product is packaged the way that the products updation of delivery status being pushed to the user is the experience and not just that the exact product itself how exactly the design of a mobile is how exactly the aesthetics of a mobile is how easy is the telephone to be used so all these various different topics will fall in the experience category so how are we going to imply this user experience in an it industry so if experience is something that what user feels then of course when a user is using our own product it might be a mobile application a desktop application or an augmented reality virtual reality applications so no matter what the users will definitely have one or the other experience and we would like to design those experience in a way where the users will be addicted to our product and not just addicted will be very happy in using our product so how can we achieve all this and what exactly is the motto or what does a ux designer does on a day to day basis so to answer that i have a small video to be presented to all of you so kindly please take a look at this video
that was a small introduction video on what a day-to-day -day life of a designer would be so there if we noticed so we noticed that the designer was designing from various different screens so as a designer you're not limited to designing for one particular product so when it comes to development you might be focused on one particular framework like i would like to be a mobile developer or i would like to be a web developer so in designing we don't have that constraint we can be designing for any screens so we can do it for mobile we can do it for tab websites larger screen television smartwatches so you name the device that has an interface and we designers will be there so i would like to introduce you all to don norman so don norman is the person who invented the terminology user experience so according to him the quality of experience a person has when interacting with a specific design is what user experiences so here if we notice don norman is not specifying to any mobile application or web application he is just concerned about the experience that a user gets when they are interacting with any design so in his hand you can all see he is holding a teapot so something is wrong with the teapot the handle of the teapot and the outlet of the teapot it's designed to the same side so it doesn't matter if the manufacturer has dug the earth core deep down and extracted the finest material to manufacture the teapot because the teapot is not usable because it is not designed well and based and because of this reason the users will not be happy in using this particular product so we when we are designing for any of our product we don't want such accidents or such mistakes to avoid that we have a designing phase that is the second phase in the product development life cycle so i would like to speak about the history and components of ux so one of the great examples that i always tell is the invention of the wireless remote in 1950 so back then what people used to do to change the channel of a television they used to walk up from their sofa till the television and press the physical key that was present on the television and only then the channel was updated so people were habituated in such a way that they didn't think this was a problem or this could be done in a better way so the thought process of identifying a scenario and simplifying it for the user is what a designer's key competency can be so just say today our lives are so easy because of the invention of wireless remote so like this even in our application we might have certain scenarios which are long driven like to order something on online it, it it takes a lot of information it is collecting a lot of information can we just bring it to one simple voice command or when we are making a payment so can we just bring it to one simple touch so this is what we would like to aim for the future techs that are coming up in the market the invention of the wireless remote is always to be remembered and one more important invention is the mouse so imagining a designer's life without a mouse would be so bad because we as designers we always are completely dependent on the accuracy and the precision of a mouse so that has led us into interacting with the laptops or the desktops that we are using on a day to day basis and also the ketchup bottles that i have listed in top left so here the first design is made up of glass so what used to happen due to gravity at the final stage the ketchup was lying at the bottom of the bottle and people were finding it very difficult to extract the last drop of the ketchup so industries and product designers came up with a new design 
that is made up of a plastic material. So with this material, they can squeeze the ketchup out of the bottle. And even though if it's at its final stage, the ketchup is always ready to be taken out and it's always ready for the user because that is what matters the most. So this being the history. Now let's look at what exactly is this user experience. So what are the components that comes inside this user experience? So whenever we are strategizing our UX for a particular product, we'll have to think about various different scenarios, various different thought processes. So one such thought process is information architecture. I hope and I believe that the worldwide people are using WhatsApp as a day to day application. So just imagine as soon as you open the WhatsApp application. If you find the chat list. Sorted in alphabetical orders. So if I have 1500 contacts and if my chat is sorted in an alphabetical order, it would be so bad experience because I'll have to scroll all the way bottom to text to someone named Niru or if I'm lucky, then someone named Abhishek will be at the top. Correct. So providing the right information at the right time. So why does a user comes inside the application? To check any new messages or to initiate a new message. These are the two possibilities. So keeping this in mind one way to solve is first one to check the new messages. So let's push all the new messages to the top. The second is to initiate a new message. So that is why we have a plus button. That is the floating button at the bottom right of the application. So what the user needs. This design is done because the users are gonna use the application in certain way. That is your user journey. So how would a user come inside an application? What exactly will a user does inside an application? What is the story of an user when he is inside the application? Or user persona which talks about what are the different kinds of user might my application have? So some might be students who are using WhatsApp to share certain documents or some might be uh, tech enthusiasts who are here to create a group and collaborate for various different projects. So we there are certain very varieties of users. And when we are designing our product, we have to keep in mind of all these users. Yes, so we have to keep in mind of all these users and we should never miss on any single one. What is the psychology of the user if there is any bad experience? For example, all of us use online applications to complete our payments. So what if due to an network issue, the online payment was failed and the amount from his bank account was deducted successfully? So at this time the user will be frustrated because the bank has sent him a notification that your amount has been successfully deducted but the application which he made the payment is not showing him any acknowledgement. So at this particular time based on the user psychology the user will never be happy. So to handle such situations we provide him one information. I hope most of you would have seen it. That is if your bank has deducted the amount and if the status is still failed. So kindly wait for 24 to 28 48 hours and the money will be reverted back to your bank and that simple information which we are providing to the user has reduced. 80% of the. Customer support that was required if we had not had that particular screen design. And if we do this UX very good and very well in the initial phase, then we do not have to repeat it certain processes. So we do not have to go and experiment on certain feature. We do not have to keep on uh, revisiting back on what exactly the application is supposed to do. So UX 
space will save a lot of money for the company because in a short amount of time the company is generating value so that value can be carry forwarded in the developing phase because developing is a longer process and they need exact clarity on what exactly that the product is going to be so that being a simple explanation on ux what exactly is ui so if ux is completely about the thought process you put in when you are designing a product what is ui so user interface is what you see on the screen all the elements text fonts icons alignments layouts colors user interfaces like button text field check boxes so various elements that you see on the screen all those are under the category of user interface then how do we combine this how do we combine the thought process that we put into designing and how do we actually represent it on the screen so that would be where a designer's key competency will come into picture that is wireframing and prototyping so wireframing is a blueprint of an application so a wireframe will contain what exactly one screen should look like what exactly the elements that are supposed to be there and where each element has to be placed and their dimensions so wireframe can be like a blueprint of your screen and prototyping is the final representation of your screen so what do i what do i mean by prototyping so here on the screen you see a prototype so this prototype is an image representation of a screen for one of the applications that is hearty health so all of you consider yourselves to be doctors and you are looking at the screen and when you are looking at the screen what i mean is try to imagine yourself in the shoe of a doctor trying to have a consultation with this particular person that is sam watson so what are all the different informations that the doctor has to be viewing so the doctor is having a conversation video conversation at the center of the screen so during his conversation based on the suggestions that we had and the ideas in the previous session of integrating iot devices and smart watches so taking all the data live we are pushing it to the doctor's screen so that the doctor can analyze what exactly this patient is currently facing so this is very important this is the crux of the screen because of the value that is being generated and along with that we have the right mouse section that is the history section what what exactly does this history section and why exactly have we designed this so a doctor will have multiple patients and the doctor will not be able to remember all the issues of course the doctor can look at his file so that's a longer process so instead of that we are giving him an interface which is listing him what are all the issues that this patient has and what are his previous appointments as well as the prescription that the patient is currently on so just in a 3 to 4 seconds the doctor is able to understand what exactly the patient is facing as an issue or why is the patient in trouble so with this the pa the doctor can assess the patient quicker so this is the importance of ux so just in 3 to 4 seconds we are enabling the doctor to understand their patient completely so that's it for the explanation of the screen how do we do this wireframing and prototyping so what is the tool that we are going to use so here on the screen we see various different tools listed so these tools are not listed in any order of any priorities so the only thing is the bolded 
tools that you find are the tools that we use at Skillish or Discovery. And one such tool is UXPen. 